Alright, cool, cool, cool. I think we're ready to go. Alright, let's start. Hello everyone. Today is day 16 of this Halloween challenge. Um, today is engagement. So I will be drawing Radolf and Ishtar who are engaged at the beginning of Desert Tracer. But uh, part of their, in part, part of the story is that uh, they basically bet their engagement on if Radolf could get a Tracer to come with him and partner with him or not. So their engagement isn't all pretty fast, but that's what it's for. I don't know if you guys can, uh, if you guys hear too much Wong in the background, just let me know. I don't think so, but uh, give me a heads up. There's a problem for the one person on here. Oh, thank you. I swear this pose is going to be easy. Hands are still the bane of my existence. I don't know what I did to that hand. Oh. Oh, well that's probably why. Part of that. Yeah. That should help, I think. Yeah. A little better. And while this is just a sketch of the pose, I'll fix it as I go.
bodies. This pose is definitely more difficult than I thought it would be. That's okay, that's my own fault. I'll figure it out. to the edge of the paper again. Twifu, hello! I got a letter from the B&B &B today. I was like, oh no, what are they gonna tell me I've messed up now? But actually it was just that they got my COC and I'm okay and my registration is no longer going to be suspended so I can renew it and all that crazy stuff. So I'm a little more relieved now. My insurance did good. Like, oh my gosh, that was a nice, uh, finally a little bit of calm. Also, this must be uh, your song, Twifu. It's all singing about bubble tea. Okay, that should do for the pose. Oh my god, I have not had bubble tea in probably a little- wait. When did we go to Chinatown last February? Oh, it's been so long. Alright, so this is Ishtar over here. Oh, yeah, you may have. I, I don't usually get bubble tea from OT. I just get like a... Their strawberry ole. I cannot resist their strawberry ole. Ole. I can't say it. But they do have bubble tea there. Huh. There's boba at a fall place? On six. Would that be... Is that Crown Point? I don't know. Is that all the way out in... There's so many stracks. <laughs> Hello, Ratafe. There's so many stracks, I have no idea. I'm even more confused. Oh, why would you do that to me? Twifu, you're so mean. Aki Basola stuff kept me pretty busy today. Oh, 
Oh, that's okay. As long as she's been downgraded, I'm fine. I didn't even get a hop on on Ranafe's earlier because I was a uh, Occubus souling. So Ranafe, what was your uh, theme today? Chrysanthemum. That's a hard word to say. I will obviously see it at some point. I'm sure it's amazing. Harder to spell. Yeah, I give you that. Ah. Speaking of words that are hard to say and spell, I finally, uh, we, uh, Martin ended up getting me that uh, phantasmophobia, phantasmophobia, oh my god, I cannot say it, game, and we played it with uh, some of his friends yesterday, and I wasn't scared the whole time, but so while they were all scared and trying to do their stuff, I just started pilfering the place and taking a bunch of, because you could pick up random items, so I kept taking them back to our truck. So that is my calling in ghost hunting, stealing shit. <laughs> like at one point, because then why is there a plate on the floor? It's like, oh my god, you can pick up stuff. And then I found some caulk, and oh my god, the caulk was huge. I didn't collect all the caulk, though, because we actually solved that one before we ran out of time. But the spray paint, I found three different colored cans of spray paint and brought them all into it. That was the time I stole a lot. We had a whole truck full of stuff. <laughs> I'm the ghost. I'm stealing stuff. Don't worry about it, guys. This is me in a horror setting. Robs the place. I was investigating, too. I was running around with my thermometer as I stole stuff. Checking all the rooms. Anything to steal here? Nope. Is it cold? Nope. I'll keep moving. It's actually a pretty fun game. It's not... The biggest drawback I think to it is once you get killed for the first time, you kind of lose, like, I don't know, it's just not as scary. You just lose your items, which sucks, but. And then I also think uh, sometimes there's not quite enough information to really correctly identify the spirit or whatever that you're chasing. Or maybe it was just the people I was playing with. Because I couldn't get them to go back in the house. It's like, show me where the person died. No. Like, no, you guys need to show me so I can check the temperature. Check the EMF EMF reader and stuff there, too. I have no fear of horror games, though, so. I like co-op games, though, so. I'm glad there's another co-op game out. I think she looks kind of creepy right now. Sorry, Ishtar. Yes, procrastinated for five years? That's amazing. I saw you got some fabric. And I saw you bought some random ornaments? I think there was a hamburger in there. Yeah, I also have Among Us. That one is fun at times, but I... I played with a group of people I didn't know super well. I only knew one person, and they were metaing each other so hard, it wasn't really fun. I preferred that one with a small group of people that I know enough, but, like, so they're not being, like, you know... Ugh. I don't know, I just felt like this group was like, oh, no, this person always lies. And I was like, I don't know this person, so I have no way of knowing this. 60% off ornaments, okay. I'm glad there's a lot more co-op games coming. I don't actually use my Steam account much, so I'm kind of 
feel like I'm giving my Steam account a little more love now. I have some games for it I need to play. I'll play them, I swear. I figure after uh, October is over, I'll have some time, hopefully, to play a little bit game, a little bit of little bit of game, game, games. I still need to do the uh, the new monster, the, the our final monster drop in Monster Hunter World. That's sad. So I still need to do that one too. Apparently it's harder than Elytreon though, and I was like, oh, do I want to do that again? Somehow when you win a monster by doing 133 heals, and I'm not even a healer. That's her hair. Oh, that's okay. You should play it, Monster. Which, uh, I would say, I don't know what system you have it for, but I have it for PS4. It's great. I love it. It's been a great socialization tool that got me through the beginning of Pandemic a lot. To be fair, I bought it, uh, before, like, back, uh, around December? Because the, uh, Resident Evil event was going on and I wanted the Leon and Claire armor specifically the Leon and I did not realize events come back so I plowed through a whole chunk of the game in a short period of time just to get there <laughs> only to find out that it is a recurring that events recur I felt so dumb Oh, actually, I think I made that too low. Let's see. Yeah, because that would be up higher to like here. You're right, they are. That's great. I should fix that at some point. I mean, not that I expect people to click them anyways, but I should fix that. All right, that should be all three Ishtar.
thank you. Juicy, juicy bits. Oh my god, it is so bad at this drawing lines. There we go, that was there. I don't know why I'm drawing all this far. I'm gonna erase half this stuff anyways. Oh, I should probably draw the rest of his hair. Wow, Radolf is probably going to end up with one extra art in here over Turl, even though Turl is the main character. Radolf is not amused by Ishtar hanging on him. One extra arm? I don't think he's ended up with one extra arm. Unless he steals Turl's arm. Oh, you don't hear any music? Oh, I can turn it up a little bit here. Is that better? Why did nobody ever tell me this? You guys... A little better? Should I put it up more? Okay. Well, if anyone needs the music louder. Dude, have these just all been silence? <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. You've listened to me in silence. When I get silent. Oh, that's expected of Kojiro. We're almost halfway through this challenge. Oh, I went and got uh, nail glue today, so my nail that was falling 
that was literally split and was cracking in half is now no longer cracking in half. It's glued back together. Which means I don't have to have a band-aid on anymore. I tried to super glue it to back together, but that didn't work. Oh, you didn't know that was a thing. I That might have been one of the streams you missed or had me unmute on. Yeah, I uh, cracked my this thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, I cracked it and it was it's cracked like right across here. And here, so it's glued back together. <laughs> I had band-aids on for a while because of that. Um, I ran into a wall. Yeah, it's uh, genius, genius me. It didn't actually hurt though. It just, you know, if it tears off, it will. So I've been wearing band-aids on it. This is like my first day of freedom without a band-aid because the nail glue is holding amazingly. So guys, if you break your nail, nail glue. Which makes sense, because the word nails in there. It's like two bucks at Target, too. I was, like, shocked. Oh! In my case, I don't even know how I did it. I just was like, oops, nail broken. I ran into a wall again. Nobody's surprised. I mean, this is a girl who gave herself a black eye, so... By tripping on a tatami mat and running into a wall. Well, Twaifu, if you broke your nail, nail glue. I'm now advertising nail glue? No, <laughs> not really. No, uh, well, in, in Japan, nobody would believe me when I told them that I tripped and ran into a wall. So the Yakuza story was like the more the more believable. It was either that or my roommate beat me up. And she was, uh, as far as Japan has a stereotype over Ukrainians, because she was from Ukraine, it's either supermodel or super violent. Yeah, she was more the supermodel type. hands I'm just gonna start like inking this all over yeah this is totally enough sponsored by the random nail glue that I don't even know the brand name of that I bought at Target this stream is sponsored by Ratafe <laughs> I don't think I ever want to make it big enough to have a to deal with sponsors on a stream. Yeah, so d technically, I guess you are helping sponsor this run up, eh? When I play Final Fantasy IX, I can say it's sponsored by Twaifu, because she's the reason I own the game. Again. <laughs> I guess technically, uh, Akiva's soul bought this webcam. It's not mine. <laughs> sponsored by Akiva's soul.
can't wait for dinner. It should be delivered soon. Soon. And then I'm going to hop off when it's here. I don't know if I'll go back on tonight. I just wanted to do part of this on here. Ready to lose at Mario Kart? I haven't played Mario Kart in forever. When I first started playing it, I was really good at it, surprisingly. I don't think I would still. Oh, you got on the tech, huh? I don't actually own that many games for my Switch, to be fair. I own some more now, but a lot of them I still haven't played. I want to play, oh, that's nice, cool. I want to play Mario Odyssey looks fun. Oh, Luigi Mansion looks really good. I've never played a single Luigi game, but those look fun. And then I really want to get that Mario like all-star set that came out because Mario 64 is the only Mario game I've ever played and it's in there. And I want to see if I'm as bad, of it, bad as it is I was. <laughs> I don't have Mario Odyssey. It's on my list. I want to be a dinosaur with a mustache. I hear it's also part of the Mario thing that was with it is, uh, was it Sun something? It's apparently also really good. All right, if I get Mario Odyssey, we'll play together. I'm sure I'll get some random reward money from uh, uh, Best Buy again. I had five bucks, but I used it to buy an extension cord. Sorry. I never even heard of that one. Actually, my favorite style of games would be uh, JRPGs, of course, or uh, like mystery based games, which a lot of them usually have like stuff you do will to change the story on it. I like ones where it's not like one set answer. Whoever finishes the final boss. I thought the point of playing games was not to actually beat them. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Oh, Nier Automata was so good. That one I actually plowed through really fast. You, I, I wouldn't, I was gonna say, I tend to think all final bosses are hard. Nier was the one exception as far as game goes where i didn't have too much issues with bosses but i got really good at playing 9s with his hacking so i just hacked everything like i didn't even get hit while doing hacking until the final boss that's how good i was at it, it made me happy it's like the first time i was ever that good at something in a game i still need to go beat ganon in a uh, breath of the wild i swear i'll do it <laughs> just leave it in there <laughs> You just do your thing, Ganon. I'll come for you eventually. Oh, Ganon's gonna be super easy when I go up against him. I know that because I've got all this, all like you know, all the side quest stuff, plus the guardians' powers and stuff. I know it's just gonna like go. 
I mean, that's just the only, the only thing I really remember about the original Mario 64 game, because like I said, it's the only Mario game I've ever played, was that there were a lot of difficult elements in it. And I've been watching Kiata streaming it for a bit, and I was like, dude, she did some of the same dumb stuff I did. So I'm like, maybe I'll be better now. Doorbell. Doorbell! Food's here! Yay, food! Okay, so, I don't know if I'll be back on. I mean, if you guys really want me, if some people really want to keep watching me, I'll come back on, but I don't know if I will. I'm going to eat. Yeah, I'm running away because too much Wong just walked behind me to get our food. Get our food! I am a dog. Food. Food. I will see you tomorrow, Twifu. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Good night. Food time!